<laughs> These are the priests. <laughs> so, I hereby commission this theatre and congratulations to the Club of Kampala Central for this initiative and we thank the people for, of uh, Mora Hospital for receiving this. Good. Protarians, all leaders of the district of Kung Omora, and all of you who are here, shooters, uh, students, and health workers in this institution. Two things. The spirit of service God gave all of us. Some of us use it. Some of us choose not to. It's a commitment that drives many people. I'll give an example of Dr. Odit. How many people would choose to leave Kampala to come and be in this place? How many? I see all of you shaking your heads. His motivation is not comfort. His motivation is sacrifice so that people less privileged can benefit. And that is the spirit that rides through Rotary. You may not be a Rotarian, Dr. Odit, but you have the Rotary spirit driving whatever you do in your life. So we come here first to celebrate people like Dr. Odit and all of you who are giving good service to the people of Mora in difficult situations when other places could have offered you better. But you have chosen to be here to serve these people. May God bless you. That from the ashes of what has been done before has sprung something new providing hope to our people that was in despair. The second thing that we have come to celebrate is the spirit of giving. Giving. See what giving has done. See how much hope it has brought to this community. See how much transformation it has brought to this place. From death to life. From condemnation to resurrection. That's what we're seeing here. You're seeing life coming back. From what was, since has gone down, but is coming up again. The spirit of giving. And many of you think you give because you have. You give because you have much. No. You give because you feel in your heart that somebody else deserves the little you have more than you do. Don't wait to accumulate until you have wealth. The little you have, give. Give. It transforms people's lives. And that's what we are all about. And that's what those of you who are Christian, that's what Christ taught us. Whatsoever you give to the least of my brothers, to the least of my sisters, that you give unto me. So don't wait. Those who give when they have a lot, we thank God for what they have and for what they give. But those who give from what they don't have, they inspire us to try and give. Because they don't have, but they give. So give. Doesn't matter how much, just give. And the little contributions that they make, that their members make, the little collection, is what transforms itself and brings restorations like you've seen 
in Mara High Center. So first, think about joining Rotary. Think about, think about joining Rotary. If that is taking longer, think about contributing to it. In the smallest way possible. It's not the amount that matters. It's the heart that counts. It's that heart that drives you to give. Is the one that counts. Women who will go into those places will certainly come out suffer. Will certainly bring out babies that have not been exposed to any other kind of situation. And the ladies that will work there, the midwives and the other nurses that will work there, they'll have a better working space. A condition that will drive them, motivate them more to serve more. Even if the pay is little. You have just been told that payment for health workers have been enhanced. That is a plus, but that is your, not your motivation. What drives most health workers is not so much the money. So, Mora has taught us a lesson. The spirit that brought these changes in Mora has taught us a lesson, or must teach us a lesson today. And our presence here, we must go back transform knowing, let's do the little we can. Each time, each time, each time, it will help and transform many lives. And this world can only be a better place if we do just that. May God bless you. Yeah, I'm not going to be so. I'm not going to be so. I'm not going to be so.